All right, good evening. Well, I found a spot up here on a mountainside. This isn't your typical um, dispersed camping. This is just a, a little offshoot off of a Forest Service road somewhere in the mountains of Montana. So here we are. This is the view for tonight. You can see there's pretty much uh, mountains around. Got a rock hill over there. That's our view for tonight. I wanted to do this more in the daylight because, well, believe it or not, the dark ones don't get views. They're some of the best, but they don't get views. So, what were we talking about last night? The manifestation of a whole life. Um, that's the concept of being a, a master manifestation manifester is being able to consciously will the way your life is going in a major way in a big picture way rather than just you know I'm going to win a lottery ticket I'm going to get a cup of coffee those are all really simple things to manifest really simple you can't manifest a free cup of coffee um, you probably aren't going to have much luck with anything else. But as the ladder increases in desire, so does the resistance to getting that desire, because as I stated, you're not the person who's ever had that desire. The person that you are has a, a destiny that's manifesting um, based off what you learned as a child and based off um, other things that you've learned along the way, um, whether those are true or not. Um, your parents can give you a lot of inhibiting beliefs. Um, I've met people whose parents told them that if they didn't get a job at a major employer in the town, you know, this was the way to go. This is the way life is supposed to be. And try as they may, they can never do anything different because they believed that. So in my example that I like to use is the example of a millionaire. If you're going to, you're going to manifest a million dollars. The first thing you want to do is to think about ooh, what it takes to have a million dollars. Because you're not what it takes to have a million dollars if you're asking for it. You're going to be asking, you're, what you're really asking for is to be completely and utterly alone. If you're not willing to lose everything in your life, I wouldn't suggest asking for a million dollars. Because you're going to be molded through experience, both good and bad, into what a millionaire is. That's what has to take place for your wish to happen. You have to become what you ask for. You have to become the love of your life if you're asking for the love of your life. You have to become the millionaire, if you're asking for a million dollars. So it's it's not just simple, you know, uh, well, you know, it takes the same energy to manifest a button as it does a million dollars. Correct. It takes the same energy to do that manifestation. But fasten your seatbelts for a wild ride that's not all pleasant. The yin and the yang, the dark and the light, and everybody that hates you and everybody that loves you and those that want your money and those that don't want your money and, and all of the problems that are going to come in with a million dollars. And that is a completely different state than where you currently are in your life. So when you're thinking of manifesting big ticket things that you don't have, then that's how that's going to go down. 
master manifestation. When you reach that level of personal growth and you've come out of all of that um, complete and utter hell that you asked for, <laughs> then you'd have been better off to um, manifest becoming a master manifester. Because it'll it'll end in the same outcome. But when you're done, you know, you'll write something down on paper and it'll happen within a few days, sometime. You'll have a thought and it'll happen. You'll wonder what you'd say if somebody said something and they'll say it to you. Has to be a master manifester, not for the million dollars. Because once you reach that master manifester, and that is a state of spirituality, when you reach that, you can have anything you want. But I'll caution you you won't want everything you want. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I'm going to try to do them daily throughout my travels. I try to be in a different location sometimes, but uh, with the price of fuel these days and the fact I don't have any money, that can be difficult. But we're going forward here. I am at rock bottom. I have no money, no gas. This car has made it from Washington State to here on $122 that I had in my pocket, and most of that was spent in Washington. So we're manifesting. We're moving this car somewhere. And we'll have to see where that turns out to be. It may be Key West, Florida. <laughs> I tell you what. But that's what we're doing here. So please like, Subscribe, share the videos, uh, come back and check them out. I'll be doing shorts and pictures, and I'm on Facebook at Loving the Dream. I'm on Instagram at Loving the Dream. I'm on YouTube at Loving the Dream. Twitter, Loving the Dream. So I'm on all the social platforms. I have a website at lovingthedream.com. L-O-V-I-N-D-A-D-R-E-A-M dot com. And I do blog over there, and I will be blogging along with this trip. So if you enjoy blogs, come on over there and check that out too. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the content. And we'll be doing more and more and more of it from beautiful places, because that's what I like.